is your friendly reminder that the concept of hell as a place of eternal conscious torment comes from a piece of Italian literature that was written in the 1300s and actually is nowhere in the Bible. So, have peace. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Hey everybody, I appreciate and I support this creator's rhetorical goals, but there's not a good case to make that the idea of hell as eternal conscious torment originates in 13th century Italian literature. Now that literature has been very influential in the imagery that we associate with hell today, but the idea of hell as eternal conscious torment is one of three different conceptualizations of uh, punishment for the wicked after death that developed within Greco-Roman period Judaism partly as a result of its own internal deliberations about the final state of the wicked within the context of the significant oppression that the Jewish people had been suffering under larger empires around them, and partly as a result of the influence of Greco-Roman period literature and traditions. Now, those three frameworks are one, annihilationism, two, temporary torment, followed by annihilationism, and then eternal conscious torment. And we see these in some of the apocryphal and pseudepigraphical literature. We see hints in this direction in the very latest texts of the Hebrew Bible, uh, for instance, in Daniel and the very last verse of the book of Isaiah. And we see all three of these concepts of hell in various places within the New Testament. So the biblical representation of uh, the afterlife for the wicked is not consistent but the idea of eternal conscious torment is there. And here are some texts you can look at to get more information about this. This book by Alan Bernstein, The Formation of Hell, is 30 years old, but it has a lot of great information in it. Mark Finney's book, Resurrection Hell and the Afterlife, is only about six years old, and it has a very thorough discussion. Now this edited volume, Jesus in Continuum, is from 2012, and there is a paper in it entitled Jesus and Hell by Hakey Raisinen, which discusses the different texts that demonstrate this tripartite conceptualization of the afterlife for the wicked, and then talks about how that is represented in the New Testament. Now, it's not an easy book to get your hands on, but I just want to share the last few pages of the article. So starting here in the section entitled Placing Jesus on the Continuum.